Okay, so I just went from believing <laughs> to knowing. I mean, I right, acknowledge that, that, that. That's a big step. Just yes. simply admitting that because now that vibration of knowing, which is mm. your own energy, yes. is able to come into your body and actually infuse your mind. So even when you ask questions like, what are the steps that I should take? What can I do strategically? Should I do this? Should I do that? Yes. Even the ability to answer those questions in a way that's powerful and best for you, when you take the energy of knowing, it's coming directly from your intuition. So right. now you get the advice from your higher self rather than from your mind only. So I don't even have to ask questions in the old way. The old way was based on uh, believing I had to be a certain way. When I say I know, I there's a, a yeah a deeper more solid resonance to that right even when you said how I want to reach more people it's not mm -hmm. that you don't want to reach more people but what you're feeling mm -hmm. that is your own expansion is who is the becoming it's it's the vibration of who you're becoming and that that you is naturally so what I'm saying is that's not exactly what you want it's not only what you want to reach more people you want more of life to flow through you. That's the experience of next level, which is just more of yeah, you. Yeah, I want more life, but I also, I mean, that's for me, but I also uh, feel like there's something, just in sharing this dialogue, that can benefit so many other people. For sure. Yeah, so I mean, I want that It's for not me. one or the other. What I'm right, saying right, right. is it's both, mm -hmm. and prior to this, you know, a few <laughs> moments ago, you're more <laughs> focused on just the one. But it's like that's in motion. That's who you are. Right. That's what you do. And so mm -hmm. if you're going to do that on a bigger level, mm -hmm. then the bigger you is going to flow through that intention. Because mm -hmm. the, the, the core of your intention to reach more people and all the reasons you want to, mm -hmm. that is, is pretty steady in you. No, it's great. Yes, I, 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 I feel that. I was going to say believe it, but I know that. <laughs> I know That's that. Good. I just had this. Good catch. Uh, so um, going then from believing to knowing to embodying, you were a sports coach for a while. Is there something that you learn? Because when you're doing sports, you're embodying the, the movements, the vibration. You're not even thinking. You're not believing. You are being. You're embodying. Was there something that's about this next step, going from knowing to embodying? that you learned as a coach? Not not as a sports coach, okay. but as a coach, for sure. So and, let's yeah. go, that, what, so what, how do you go from knowing to embodying? What does it mean for to you to embody? Very similar to what I just experienced with you mm -hmm. is like my, uh, going from knowing to embodying is like coming out of hiding, essentially. Mm -hmm. And like why would I hide or anyone hide? Mm -hmm. It's fear and judgment. It's always right. really the same thing, right. Right? right? And so I, the more and more I developed my gifts and shared them through my speaking and coaching and consulting and whatnot, along that evolution, you know, at different stages of my development, I was going from this cycle of believing to knowing to embodying, right? right. So if you want to look at it that way, and, you know, for many reasons, really all just one reason, I, too, would be hiding. You know, mm -hmm. for maybe people can think I'm strange. Maybe right. they'll be like, how do, how do you know that? Or you'll or be put you in the spotlight. Arrogant? Or you'll be put in the spotlight. <laughs> right, right, and right. some negative association with that. Right. So it, that's one thing that would, so the safe version to, to counteract that belief, which is not the truth, mm -hmm. is to hide and maybe like say things like, oh, I think or I believe right. when I actually can feel knowing. You know, or, or put another step in the process that's not actually there. Like, like if I were to, I try to, I can't really do it right now. But if I were to be hiding right now, even with what I'm saying, you can hide. And it, yeah, <laughs> it would it would be like me saying I'm channeling right now oh. because that might feel safer. I see. I it's see. Like it was I not see. me. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? I do get what you're saying. And I think there are people who do. There are great channels, but there are people who don't want to take credit, and they do do that. So you're, but go, how do you define embodiment for you of, and as you translate it to your, you know, communications? I mean, to me, how would you, how would I understand it? The, the word embodiment? Yeah, what do you mean by going from knowing to embodying? I'm trying to get that Embodiment piece. or alignment is mm -hmm. really the same thing. And mm -hmm. you can observe that through the simplest concept. If I said I wanted some water right now, mm -hmm. and that's a desire, and that desire is moving inside me, at this point, like that's an embodied idea. So there's no, there's no opposition to it. There's no opposing point of view. There's no doubt. There's no fear. It's just like, oh, there's some water. Boom, I'm drinking it. But how is that different from knowing? Well, it differs from knowing in the sense that 
it comes fully into the physical manifest realm when it's embodied. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like when you're in the flow, you're actually in a state of embodiment. Uh -huh. Because, okay, we all know intuition and connecting to your intuition. Sometimes your intuition occurs to you as a gut feeling or a translation or something that you're receiving. So there's you who's receiving it, mm -hmm. and then you act on it or you don't, and whatever happens, happens, right? right? That's you accessing intuition. But when you come into embodiment, now there's literally no, there's, there's, there's no time, there's no separation between you and your intuition. So that is like embodying the information or embodying oh. the frequency, which frequency and information are the same thing. Okay, I think so I get- So now the flow is just, you are the flow of that idea in motion now so there's no no like i'm accessing my intuition right right i think i get what you're saying so in, in, in well from believing to know believing is like you know you're hiding knowing there's still a gap between knowing and just being in the flow of embodying i mean i could say i know this i know that right. but when you're embodying it you're not even thinking about knowing you are moving through it it's you're just, right it's just it's just life coming through you in, right. th in that moment so yeah there's a, there's this next level of just being you could call it being then in a sense right, right. between knowing and being knowing is still a little mental being it's like here we are in the totality of this moment as we are right that's how I would say it any any expression really is just information which is vibration it's just moving at a faster speed like knowing is a faster speed mm -hmm. than belief for example yes. right and so some of my beyond uh -huh. is is something I'm just more tuned to and so it's more subtle the um, the impulses 